Looking at second and five, second and threes, which is what they face right here. Again, they go Wildcat. Savion, look at that nimble footing. Spin, baby, spin, and take it in. There isn't a ton of space for Savion to get through, but somehow he finds his way through, and then he gets on a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, and it's a, a spin away from him and all the way to the end zone. His ability with the football in his hands is what the... On third down and seven, here comes the pressure. Retzloff reads it, gets up through it. He's got a first down inside the red zone, still going, and he's gone for the touchdown. 29-yard scramble for Jake Retzloff, and it's a first drive touchdown for BYU. Oklahoma State by three at home. And behind Jake Retzloff and a 29-yard scramble. Their pursuit of perfection is off to a great start here in Orlando. He's hit from as long as 54 this season. And they fake it. It's fairing around the edge. He's got options, and he keeps it. That's a BYU first down. A beautiful play call. And they get the fourth down conversion again on an eight-yard run. See decision by Kalani Satake. And he's rewarded for the aggressive play call here. Farron doing a great job. He had a tight end wide open, but you don't want to risk the throw. Great job picking up a first down. And this is something that is part of the numbers, but stark improvement this year with Dave Aranda taking over the defensive play call. Pendergrass finding an alley. Dawson Pendergrass has open field. And he's dropped at the 50. One fear you have is if you bring everybody on a run blitz, there's no one in the second level, and the third level gets beat. And Pendergrass doesn't look fast when you watch him on field, but... Not to throw one of the fastest players on the team, Monterey Bowl. Back at the belly of Pendergrass. And Dawson Pendergrass has another place. Oh, how about that move? Pendergrass inside the 20, and he runs out of gas near the 12. Steve Pendy showed me something. First, it's the patience here. They get through the hole. Now watch this. Oh, gotcha. I'm going. Oh, man. How did he make him miss like that? And then Kendall Daniels has to come and catch him. Burkhart. Oh, it's a fake. There he goes for the corner. Touchdown. Reese Burkhart. That's why they chose to take the three. A little something in Joey McGuire's hip pocket for extra points. So they, were, you know what he was practicing all week long oh in Lubbock, Texas, right? I mean, look at him get the edge <laughs> just like a pro. How about the tight end? Brown did a great job on the play action fake and getting the football over the linebacker's head. So Jones on this drive has doubled his catch total on the year. And here goes R.J. Harvey. He can run as far as the sun can shine. And he is diving to the goal line. Bounds just short. Mark your offense. Give the football to RJ Harvey. The offensive line doing a fantastic job of winning the line of scrimmage. Robertson taking off. Sawyer Robertson splitting the defense for the touchdown. A 41 yard sprint. on the middle of the interior defense and he's able to take that he sees it with man and finds that opening and look at the block down the field great blocking also that effectively Jamie Porter back to Dawson Pendergrass he and just Playing pretty soft in that zone. Off the sweep, it's White's rounding the corner. First down and more in Arizona territory. Can he be caught? He's ripped down inside the 15. What a run to set up West Virginia. Well, I love the play call. You go in the empty and you get Jaheim White in the motion. This is kind of like all the way back to those Pat White and Steve Slayton days for the West Virginia fans. Clemson fans that have you. It was effective on the ground early. The handoff.
to the edge and a first down and a lot more. There goes Morrison into the red zone. Still on his feet. Touchdown, Kansas. From 38 yards out, the effort, the energy for 28 and Whitey got it done. No problem with a start. Say with me, Savion Morrison, Ajo. Savion Morrison takes the opportunity, breaks the tackle, makes the defender miss, and finds the end zone. Eight days between home games for the Wildcats. Jake Giddens on the left side, weaving his way through traffic, still on the move, racing into Kansas territory. The stutter step, he'll stay in bounds. DJ Kitts working his magic. 54 yard game. The junior from Junction City, Kansas, finds space. Was working his magic. 54 yard game. The junior from Junction City, Kansas, finds space. What's more impressive about this is he wasn't touched until he was about 45 yards. Road win at WVU, 65 tonight at home against Kansas. There goes Edwards. Dylan Edwards in the open field. And tripped up just shy of the red zone by O.J. Burroughs. Boy, you said earlier that Avery Johnson was the number one recruit in Kansas. Well, Dylan Edwards was the number two recruit in Kansas. They played with each other in Little League, played against each other as they got older.